No, not the Fallout DLC that hit a little too close to home for me. Sword of the Stars The Pit is a roguelike that, for my money, does more to innovate the roguelike than anything I've played in a long time. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Chocobo's Dungeon, Hack Slash Loot, The Guided Fate Paradox, they're all quality roguelikes and they really exemplify the qualities of the genre, but The Pit pushes it into a one-man RPG campaign, almost, with a bevy of races dictating your playstyle far past what weapon shall I use to kill all the things? Behind the Hall of Justice, aka on a barren ice planet, is this hole, aka the pit, of justice. Inside are the ruined remains of an installation of some sort, complete with floor after floor of dining areas, medical bays, arsenals, engineering workshops, the full life sustaining bit really. But while many games in the genre would just have you looting and pillaging these facilities, the pit gives you the chance to utilize or even repair them for your own ends. That'll be crucial, as these same hallways are littered with all manner of creatures, from bats and leeches and various blood-dripping vicious wildlife, to mechanical sentries, malfunctioning servbots, and various blood-dripping alien species. To utilize the various systems you'll come across, you'll need to pass basic skill checks that pit your strength, knowledge, or resourcefulness against the difficulty of the thing you're attempting to break open, hack into, or tinker with. Fortunately, you can shore up any shortcomings in your skill set with points gained with each level up, allowing you to work on your lock picking as you go, or just dump everything into one stat to become a lean, mean, transmission de-encrypting machine. As you're doing so, the music maintains a creepy sense of urgency in the background, while staying out of the way of a superior level of sound effects and vocal writing. Seriously, after descending to one particular floor, I was met with an unfamiliar, panicked voice imploring me to just go away, and I had no idea what to make of it. And that was awesome. The visual style might be a bit simple in comparison, and the room's rather featureless, but due attention is paid to animation and making the UI make sense, which does more for the flow of the game itself. No, go away, please, just go away. But don't think that, just because you've got a huge Diablo-esque inventory and can hack various systems back online, you're going to have an easy time. Persevere, and you might just have a chance of earning some of the over 140 achievements, yes really, which include callouts to everything from Ghostbusters to Anthony Bourdain to Dr. Robotnik. This is, yes, I dare say that The Pit is my new favorite roguelike despite the lack of sapient Pokemon or Final Fantasy remixes or angelic maids. It's just got incredibly deep mechanics and a twisted sense of humor, which to me are two very important qualities in a game, even if it results in a weird plasma pistol wielding winged cockatrice thing getting pissed off at her inability to make something resembling food out of the carcasses of the animals left in her wake and this chunk of alien brie she obtained from somewhere. Emerald wouldn't have that kind of problem. I can do better. Thank <laughs> you.